Remember when the Democrats were excited that any day now Robert Mueller would make their dreams come true and President Trump would go away only to have to come face to face with reality again? At least one CNN contributor, Never Trump Rhino Max Boot, is starting to realize that he has wasted the last three years of his life. He recently made an entry in his diary saying, quote, No matter how many columns or sound bites I produce, Trump remains in office. I am left to ask if all of my work has made any difference. He then linked up his latest column in the Washington Post titled, The Joy of Chores detailing how he has found solace in household chores because they help get his mind off of President Trump and they provide tangible evidence that he's been able to accomplish something in his life. He finishes his diary entry by saying, I don't know if I can ever change the world, but at least I can change the oil in my car. And maybe, just maybe, I'm starting to realize as I turn 50, that's good enough. I'm very proud of you, Max, who finally realized that CNN's not just a waste of my time, but yours as well. With the Democrats' hopes of impeachment gone like a chocolate cake left in Rosie O'Donnell's kitchen, some are moving on to other important issues, like trying to get us to stop saying, hey guys, when addressing a group of mixed gender people. Guys is a simple term. It could mean boys, or if you're modern, hip, it means people. At first glance, guys seems inviting, friendly, maybe warm, even comedic at times. But it, like many male default terms, should not be normalized as an all-encompassing phrase. This is not a parody, by the way. It's one of the latest videos by Now This News, a content farm aimed at producing propaganda for millennials. While we may understand the word means no real harm, with a deeper look, you'll understand that we've been ignoring the cognitive impact on women as well as gender non-conforming folks by only explicitly addressing the male identifying individuals present. I had no idea that we were causing all these problems from simply saying, hey guys, <laughs> but thanks for the heads up. I'm gonna start using it more. The Now This News YouTube channel has 371,000 subscribers and their daily videos average about 20,000 views a piece. And you're probably thinking that guy on a laptop in his kitchen could probably run this whole channel, right? Over the last seven years, they've been funded by over $35 million in donations. Oh, I'm sorry, investments. Investments that just keep losing money every year. The latest round was $16.2 million. Liberal content farms like Now This, Vice, and Vox are not profitable businesses. Instead, they rely on wealthy Democrat donors to fund their operations year after year. A few years ago, NBC gave $200 million to Vox, and earlier this year, George Soros gave $250 million to Vice to cover their operational costs for the next few years. But poor Think Progress, a very popular liberal website, couldn't get any more funding this year, and so now they're having to shut down. This year alone, they lost $3 million, and on their website, they say, unfortunately, as with so many ventures in today's digital media landscape, Think Progress suffered multi-million dollar shortfalls the past two years! An unsustainable option for a non-profit as ours. You know, I'm very grateful when you guys sponsor my channel through Patreon or PayPal for $5 a month. I can't imagine how thrilled Vice and Vox must be for getting hundreds of millions! Speaking of millions of dollars, Rachel Maddow is being sued for $10 million by One American News, a growing conservative cable news channel. Richard said that they were paid Russian propagandists and they didn't take too kindly to that because they're an American news network and so they're suing her. It seems liberals are having a tough time everywhere you turn. Chick-fil-A decided to start opening restaurants up in Canada and so the rainbow people are scared of the quote Christian chicken. 
They gathered outside and protested when the first location had their grand opening. Protesters have finally gone away, although they were here most of the morning and afternoon shouting, very angry with denouncements of Chick-fil-A. However, as you can see, the lineup of customers has not diminished. In fact, it goes right around the block. The people who are on the corner here right behind me say they've already been waiting for 40 minutes and they still probably have another half hour to go. Keep up the great work, liberals. All your protesting of Chick-fil-A in the United States has caused it to become America's number one fast food restaurant for years. Subscribe to my channel for new here, and if you guys enjoy watching my videos, click some of the links in the description below to support the channel, or head on over to my online store at markdice.com and get one of my awesome shirts, like the Ronald Reagan Donald Trump shirt, the JFK Trump shirt, or any of my awesome designs. Of course, they're all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.